Mage here, and, well, it's time for me to finish up the rest of the castle. Got my residence tower, and go ahead and polish it off. Get the inside of the residence tower finished off a bit more, finished off all the walls, the other towers, the gatehouse, all that good stuff. Okay with that? Alright, let's get started. I'm looking at adding some windows up here for what's going to be my bedroom. But I'm not sure exactly how big I want these windows to be. I could just dupe the windows on a lower level. You know, I'm kind of thinking I want to just dupe the windows from the lower level. If you look at the tower, you'll see two sets of little plus sign windows. Gives you quite a bit of vision out of here. And it's a bedroom. Yeah, I think this will be good. And it gives you a little bit of visual distinction to it. Originally, I had planned to put a giant window up here, but it's kind of unnecessary. This gives a lot of visual distinction to the tower, while still having it be a very solid, towery looking tower. This is what I want, because it's a tower. The other thing I did here, this iron door. It opens easily, both the doors, the pressure plate. Perfect. Right? Originally, it was just a flat side of the tower with some iron doors on it here. And the buttons were above the door, which did not open both the doors one at a time. You get in and out. But I like the effect of having both doors open. Luckily, some very helpful person pointed out that if you put the button right here, that'll open both the doors. Of course, it screwed up the whole lines of the tower, right? So I built a little vestibule. Have, which I think actually makes it better. A nice little place to hang out up here. Get little bars to hide behind. Just in case there's skeletons shooting at you. Yeah. Little slopey roof right above it. You hit the button. Hit on in. You're in my storage slash crafting room. And then you run up here. Bedroom. Beautiful. This is a bedroom. Got a bed, big bed, like a big back to it. It's very grand and regal. Andy storage chest. I put like some plants or something on these decoration. Yeah, I got an interior. I may not be the best, you know, but it's pretty good. In my high standards, better interior than I usually do. Now I just want to finish some moderately interesting lighting for up there. Placing that there. Now they hover. And... Bam. Place a jack-o'-lantern. That doesn't work. That doesn't count, so you can place a jack-o'-lantern on top of... Focus. Logs back. This back. Here. Log. Log. Then place jack o' lantern. Then pack down these logs. Get them back. Come up here and. Place the wooden trap door. Hover for that lamp. And place a log there. Now, that's kind of covered up. A little light up here. As well as some under bed lighting. But that's probably not going to be enough by itself. Push F3. Destroy these torches. Eight, eight, and five for down up there. I just want to have a couple lamps, anyways. 
let's come up with a couple lamps. Ah, falling down the stairs. And I got this. Some redstone lamps. I can make these hanging lamps from the ceiling. Which means I have to put a ceiling in first. Minor detail. Be right back. Being the upper floor. That's what I'm doing. And oh, 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 oh. Need to place a little supporting beam down there. There we go. And finally, the planks for the actual floor. As we're not in extreme hills or other such nonsense. Don't have to worry about snow forming down below these. Which always looks a little out of place. But rain doesn't have that problem. There's only snow formation that follows that rule. Not falling snow or falling water. Alright. This is up here. Bam. Now, this kind of makes me want to do this stuff right now. Those. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Alright, that's making some progress. We got these guys. Down here. And right there. Yeah, see, these cobblestone blend in and kind of like round out these corners this inside of it. I like the way that looks. Increasing our contour effect. Okay. Alright, at least for now, just going some cobblestone walls. Gets it finished up. I feel like I should do something more interesting. But that's what I got for now. These are lamps. Bedside lamps. Alright, I got some slabs. I'll go ahead and put my redstone crapola away. Put that and that wood trap door. Here. Okay. All the way up. I think these look a bit better. Renolated. Stone half slabs capping the tops. These parapets. And... Want some fire. If I put fire here, it may hinder my ability to jump up here. I want to be able to jump up here. Let me think about this. Wait. Is it really this easy? It really is that easy. There. Now I can climb up there. And this will do. This will do. Except, you know. There you go. And temporary torch spam. Temporary torch spam. Here's a nice long shot. My little entryway there. Covered up. This little bit of... Yeah, well, like an entryway. Vestibule. Aha! Uh -huh. Pop up here. I retrieved some stuff that I had left in Monk's basement. Let's try double half solving this. I think I'm okay with how this looks. Bit of cobble wall. And netherrack. I mean, 
This might be kind of cheesy. I've certainly done this before, but it really adds an impressive look to things. It really makes it stand out at a distance. The fire on top of everything. Alright, finishing the last bit of this. The rack, another rack. And light it up. Light it up. Okay, there we go. That is awesome looking. And now, of course, the question is, what's our light level? It's probably not enough light getting to the center. Let's push the button. Ooh, block light four. Yeah, four, because those are really high up. Usually, um, actually, I've had them not that high up in the past. I've had the high up in the past. Nine, eight, seven. We need a light, like, right in the center. So for the center, I'm gonna use a redstone lamp. It's just more appealing looking than a friggin' pumpkin. Even if it's massively more expensive and unnecessary. Yeah, it looks up at the top. F3. Adequately lit, no spawning. That's all we need. That's all we need. We'll take a nice long view. Let's see what it looks like. And. I think I'm okay with this tower. It's not super complicated. But you know, not green. Not scar. Frankly, my best, my favorite designer is Noodler. I like a lot of stuff that Wells Knight does. And it's more simple. The over super detailed is not what belongs in a tower. I added a bit of texture with my cracks and moss. But mainly, it's a tower. A couple rooms in it. Fire around the top. Quick little pan up and down it. And let's get out of here before I get killed by a creeper or something stupid like that. Okay, we're starting on throwing up these outer walls. Not planning on finishing these outer walls or the towers right this second. What I am going to do is get them too high all the way around. Okay, I can close things up. Start working on things like the gatehouse. Oh. That's a problem. Where'd that guy go? Oh, that was disconcerting. Alright. Now the interior is enclosed. Throw up a quick little bit of torch spam. And one thing I can do now is fetch my horse. It's amazing. Get my horse out of Monk's doorway. Pop down a temporary horse corral. Temporary horse corral. I like that. Sun has risen. There are creepers about. To go outside this place. And do a little terraforming. There 
is an Endar man. You can kill him? Apparently not. Start throwing down some stone. Openings like this, where a mob can now climb in. Oh, I'll temporarily cap that with cobble. Right out here. And these end up being a stairway. Yep, that one is too. Be fine in the future, but yeah, I don't want to go in now. And I left that door open. Awesome. Okay. Oh, and a torch. There. There we go. Got my terraforming done, pretty much. Got a nice little base from which the castle will rise, as if it was on a natural rocky outcropping. Yep. Bear hound. Like the bits of mossy cobble. I am getting shot at by a skeleton. And now he's dead. Okay. Good for him. Yeah, so nice, kind of irregular, stony outcropping. Okay of this. I call this successful terraforming. Okay. Now, gatehouse. It's going up. the altitude that this gatehouse needs to be at in order for the gate to function. We'll note that we're actually at the same altitude as our crafting room there. So this won't actually be that visible past this gatehouse. So the view from that window this direction, yeah, not really a thing. Up there, that window has a good view. And it's going to be even worse straight this direction, because this tower has to be taller than the gatehouse. The tower is going to come up to like here. All right, slid up, starting the little staircase down, which will connect to the top of the walls. And, boop, there we go. So, low here. There we go. This will be the wall height. this height, there will be a door into here. What the hell? Creeper. Oh, no more creeper spawning in there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That's not good. No, 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 no. They didn't find a creeper. That's a bonus. Oh, alright. Maybe I should consider going inside. Getting some sleep. I help things. Good night. This is going on up. And, and 
Try this again. What the hell's wrong with me? I see falling off. Bouncy, bouncy. Right past the gate. The half ass beginner gate. And back down here. And then back up. And then shift. That way I don't fall off again. Yeah, shifting. It's what's for dinner. Alright. Oh, god damn it. Really? This is this is this is not okay. Where'd he go? Did he just kill himself? Knocked me off and then killed himself. It's completely taking my satisfaction away from me. That's that's bullshit. Well, back to this. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and polish up this tower. That's the plan. Get it up to an adequate height to be nicely imposing. Checking our light levels real quick. That's fine. Then we're gonna need a light down here. Let's go ahead and there. Go ahead and get a couple holes in. Get that tower from the outside. So, outside view of the new tower. You'll see the other tower behind it. Foreground tower, background tower. I think I'm. I think it's shaping up. I may be able to tolerate it. Also, I'm going to need a bridge. Yes, I am. Now for another awesome time lapse building up another tower. Okay, that is two towers done. A quick look at that from a nice distance view. All right, see from over here, those two towers frame bigger rear tower. I am digging it. A quick look at that from outside. How's that look? Now, remember, there's going to be battlements on top of there. Yeah, so that kind of breaks up the gatehouse. Behind it, you're going to see a hint of our redstone. Which I'm okay with. So, you know, kind of a bit of a redstone guy. Helps show off that it's my castle. Having a redstone thing you can see at the front. Picking up to a fresh new day. And here we go. Check in. Climbing a ladder. Oh, wait, no, no. Really climbing a ladder. Ah, yep. Emerald. Okay, here we go. And let's go ahead and start on this stone bricks. Stone bricks are definitely part of this. Alright. This. No creepers there. Oh, 
So each of these holes needs a torch in it. And these actually go one above that cobblestone wall. And, oh no, these need to be in that hotbar. I can replace my sword. It's okay. Go. Down. Place a torch. Log, log, log. Dup, dup. Hey. And okay, I need to do something about this tower. You know what? Let's do these segments of wool. First. So that goes there, 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 there. Crack. That. All right. Then over here. Boom. Cracked. Regular. Okay. Head in. Watch the wood. That in. Inside just gets those caps. Outside gets these caps. Alright, this. This is an awesome wall design. Yeah! Yeah! Interesting wall design. That's what I wanted. That's, that's okay right there, even. Not supposed to be protected from those towers. Supposed to be open to fire from those towers. That's the idea. Defensiveness. Yeah. Let's kind of attack people on the ground out here. That is the completed facade of the castle. Top of this handy photograph tree. Good name this photograph tree. And that's the last tower. Four towers. That's three small towers. One big residence tower. Now, these small towers currently have nothing in them. I mean, put doors on them yet, but that's not that big a deal. At some point, I'll probably stick some utility stuff in them, like a full-size auto smelter, a fish farm. Um, what else? Sorry, there's something else I thought would be cool to stick in one of them. Maybe some version of a cobblestone generator? Perhaps above the auto smelter so it feeds into it? Yeah, one of those things. But yeah, this is the basic layout of this thing done. And quite a bit of finishing stuff to do. I like that I now have a little castle. Well. It looks like we now have a castle. There are four towers. Boom, boom, boom. Up there is some awesome fire. Yeah, fire. I can jump up and down. Go woo, woo, woo. Shoot arrows at the, you know, camera. There we go. So, good night, everybody. We have a successful building. Yes. Yes, we do. Successful building. 